The oxidation ditch is an extended aeration process, meaning that it is a low rate process that has a relatively high hydraulic retention time in the range of 24 hours. The activated sludge is moved around the oval basin by rotors and brushes, which are mechanical aerators represented here in the picture by the gray rectangles on each side of the ditch. This type of system is used in small to medium sized applications. The way this works is raw water or raw wastewater flows directly into the mixed liquor. There's generally no primary settling involved. There's usually some form of preliminary treatment such as racks or bar screens or even comminution, uh, but that's about it. So the wastewater flows directly into the ditch. The rotors act as the aeration devices and they maintain the flow between 0.8 and 1.2 feet per second and that prevents the mixed liquor volatile suspended solids from settling out, but it does allow the heavier solids to settle out, so the grit will then settle in the bottom of this ditch. The dissolved oxygen level is controlled by the depth of the water, which determines how deep the rotors and the brushes go into the water to increase the exchange of oxygen through surface agitation. The dissolved oxygen levels are lowest just prior to the rotors, and the operator should maintain the dissolved oxygen at 0.5 to 2 milligrams per liter at this point. The normal mixed liquor volatile suspended solids concentration in an oxidation ditch is in the range of 2,000 to 6,000 milligrams per liter. And as far as operations goes, if the ditch develops a crisp white foam, the operator should reduce sludge wasting since this is an indication of a young sludge or a low MCRT. Now if there's a dark foam that it forms, the operator should increase sludge wasting since this is an indication of old sludge or a high MCRT. And any time an adjustment is made, the operator should allow several days for the process to stabilize uh, before making an additional change. So in the oxidation ditch, the mixed liquor should have a color uh, that's medium to dark brown. Typically the sludge age is greater than 10 days in this type of a system and they operate with a very low uh, F to M uh, ratio uh, in the range of 0 0.03 to 0 0.1 pounds of BOD per day per pound of mixed liquor volatile suspended solids carried in the ditch. Now this system is a very stable process uh, because of the relatively low F to M and high MCRT.